Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to work with media inside of Cray Studio 3. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and go up to my media section and I'm gonna go ahead and click on import to import in one of the files, right? So I can then maybe choose this picture down here and then hit open and then it imports in my media and now I'm ready to work with it. All right, so another way that I can bring in media into my session is if I can go to the actual folder that I've got them saved into and I can just drag them straight into Cray Studio 3 and it'll import them in. And then if I want, I can then drag them into my canvas to start working with them, or you can drag them right into your timeline, right? So however you want to, there are different ways to implement that media into your session. One nice little feature inside of your project area is you have the option to add folders. So if I click on add folder, you'll see it created a nice folder there. Now what I can do is I can right click, I can hit rename, and let's say you can kind of organize this in a way that makes sense to you, right? Maybe I want this to be uh, pictures, right? So then I can take that and I can drag in my pictures into that said folder, right? Same thing, you can create another one. You can call this guy, right click it, and then rename it, call it videos. And then again, you could add videos, you could add SVG, so you just stay stay organized and keep your workflow nice and neat, right? All right, so Create Studio 3 does support multiple file types for video, audio, and for photos. I'll put those on the screen right now so you can see those different file types that are supported. Another feature that's built right into Create Studio 3 is your ability to tap into stock footage from within Create Studio. So if I go over here to the top left here, you'll see I have the stock option. Once that's selected, it opens up all my stock libraries. And right now I'm in video, so I have the options to choose from Pexels, Pixabay, or Cover as my engines of search for all this media. And for images, you have Pexels, Pixabay, and Unsplash to search. And then for GIFs and for stickers, you have access to Giphy. And then for SVGs, we use an SVG API. So it's really cool and powerful tool. So you don't have to leave Create Studio to get access to this stuff. All right, so let's say, for example, I wanna search up video clips. So I'll go back to my video selections. I'll open up the gallery and this allows me a wider view to see my search results. And now what I can do is I can click on the search bar and let's say I wanna search up some waves and then it gives me a whole bunch of different videos with waves in them, which is a really cool and powerful feature. Now, if I wanna preview them, all I have to do is select one previews that video clip. And if I like it, I can then hit download and then you'll see it gives me a little green check mark to let me know that that video clip has been saved, right? And it goes ahead and saves it to your project file. So here it is right there, my project file. And then I can then drag that into my canvas or in my timeline here. And then I can have access and adjust that as I need to, which is really cool. So next thing I wanna talk about is our global library, right? So the global library is really cool because if you have assets that you regularly use, for example, logos or specific, maybe like lower third action um, icons, things like that, and you want them to be accessible to every project that you work on, you can import those into your global. So let's go to project, for example, and let's say that I want to use this picture um, in all of all the projects that I work on, right? Maybe it's just like my ending um, title card. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and I'll say copy to global. All right, so if I go to global, you'll see now it's sitting right here in my global and then I can always rename that and we can just uh, rename it, um, let's just call it end screen, right? And so what I can do now is anytime I open up a Create Studio session, I can go to my global and my logo for Create Studio will be there as well as my end screen, right? So anything you wanna add to the global to use on a regular basis is a really powerful feature built right into Create Studio 3. Now, one other thing I do wanna say is that inside the global, you do have the option to make folders just like you can inside the project. So you can also stay organized within your global aspects, right? So if I click on add folder here, I can then right click that and say rename. And maybe I wanna make this one my logo folder, right? So that I could take my Create Studio logo here and drag that into that folder. And maybe for end screens, maybe I wanna also create another folder, right click it, hit rename, and we can call this one uh, let's call it in screens, right? So now I've got an organized structure for my global library that I will use for all projects, right? Because that's what the global is used for. So again, really awesome stuff built right into Create Studio 3. All right, so real briefly, aside from all the things that you can import in, if you go to your studio section, you do have a lot of different assets to import in to kind of enhance your projects even more. You have a 3D creator, right? To work with your 3D characters. You have your characters itself. You've got icons, text, backgrounds different carousels, different effects, all kinds of stuff inside of the studio section that would then again, you'd be able to import in and give you access to different types of elements for your projects. All right, so one last thing I do wanna show y'all how to do is how to free up disk space and how to use the migration tools. All right, so if I'm on the homepage in Create Studio 3, I'll go down to settings, 
And in my settings section, you'll see there's, I have a lot of different options here, right? I can adjust my passwords. I can choose how many installation managers I have. Um, but here's where I can free up disk space. So maybe you're starting to utilize and download a lot of things. What you can do is you can click on free up disk space and it'll tell you you've downloaded X amount of gigabytes of character scenes and other presets that are currently stored on your hard drive. If you wanna free up those HD space, you can then either delete them one by one on the studio panel, or you can delete them all by clicking on the button below, right? So if I click up free up disk space, it'll ask me if I wanna proceed, I would say yes, proceed, and then it would continue to delete that disk space, right? So that is how you can tap into the freeing up of your disk space, right? Now say for example, you wanna migrate your Create Studio 3 files to a new computer, maybe you got a new one, or you just wanna move them to another computer all to itself. What you can do is you can export out right here, and you click export and you can choose where you want to store that file, right? And that'll, you know, depending on how much, um, how many saved scenes you have, it may take a little while, but just be prepared that um, it may take a few extra minutes to, to export all that out. And then once you're ready, you go to your new computer and then download Create Studio 3, get everything set up that way, and then come into your settings again and click on import. And then you'll then import in that file that you originally exported and it'll bring back in and migrate all of your Crazy Studio 3 um, session files back into the uh, into your seat there. All right, so hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.